Health officials are strategizing better ways to respond to family island health emergencies linked to COVID-19. Minister of Health, the Honorable Dr. Duane Sand, says the country now has equipment which will help to do just that. Cleopatra Murphy explains. Following the death of the country's first victim of the novel coronavirus, Bimini resident 57-year-old Kim Johnson Roll, Minister of Health the Honorable Dr. Duane Sands says Air Ambulance has acquired a number of transportation isolation chambers at $10,000 each to transport patients believed to have the deadly virus. Sands says an investigation into the delayed process in getting Johnson Roll off Bimini continues, but certain factors were at play. The need for an isolation tube in order to safely transport the patient was the critical issue. And again, I, I, I think we need to recognize those individuals who put their health on the line in order to transport that patient to New Providence. Another five people have died since Johnson Roll, bringing the death count in the Bahamas to six up to Wednesday afternoon. The initial death raised concerns over how the country is managing the COVID-19 response on the family islands amidst the shutdown in international and inter-island travel. And Dr. Sands says officials are taking a critical look at what they can do to improve the response. The Minister of Health says health officials have located additional pods that were in inventory since the Ebola crisis to handle transportations. We have also uh, coming in a number of other pods uh, one of the challenges is that we have to find uh, devices that can fit our population. And I don't want to be um, insensitive at all, but some of the isolation tubes can only carry people up to a certain size. And so we have this peculiar challenge to find uh, isolation tubes that can fit somebody who's 300 pounds or 350 pounds because that is us. Minister Sands, who said the country is in the midst of a surge in positive COVID-19 cases and has not yet reached the peak, previously listed the Royal Bahamas' Defence Force Coral Harbour Base as a site to treat COVID-19 positive patients. He says that has changed for the time being as officials are building out 100 rooms between the South Beach Clinic that has just gone online and facilities on Grand Bahama while also using doctors' hospital facilities. The Cancer Association building in Grand Bahama is not yet finished. The Okeanos property in Grand Bahama not yet finished. And so we're building out and then we have to assess. There are a lot of moving parts here. Do we put time and resources in building out infrastructure or do we get more personal protective equipment? Do we get more masks? Do we provide respite areas for staff? Uh, do we get ventilators and so on? All of these decisions have to be made against the backdrop of hurricane season is coming. The Rand Memorial Hospital is not finished. And so we've got multiple decisions to make. Cleopatra Murphy, Satanas Network News.